We are at web. Oh, we have a rowdy audience. We're at Open Source Bridge. I'm Cami Chaos. This is Strange Love Life, and right now we're joined by Rabbit Dave, Rabbi Dave, Rabbit David, Rabbit. I've been reading your Twitter name many times. Rabbit Abbot. We're joined by Rabbi David Kaminsky. Hi, David. Hey, Cami. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, where can we find you online and on Twitter? So I am at Rabbi David on Twitter mm -hmm. and Rabbi David Kaminsky .wordpress.com. I am one of those people who still hasn't moved over to my own WordPress site, but someday. That's okay. You and know, when you I'm a little shy it, about it. When you choose to do it, there's plenty of people around here to help guide you through. There are those who have gone before, who have trailblazed the way, mm -hmm. who have come out previously and I uh, you know I went is there an anthem for this by the way I made a, I could make one up but then Rick Dorothy would yell at me not to sing so I just gotta say he would never yell at you not to sing oh yeah oh yeah trust me if I sing he would never do it if there were other people around it'd be too much oh, really? public presentation I think yes he would he has done it before yeah it's it's not pretty okay. it's it's sad to make him that uh, it, it makes him that cranky. It really does. Nice. But what I was going to say is I, I moved from Blogger to WordPress uh, to my own WordPress. So it can be done. And I fully believe that. It's just, it's, it is nerve-wracking. I think I had a nervous breakdown or three in the process of moving it over. So do it in a less stressful time in your life, I think. Sounds good. All right. So next steps, moving on, and the ending of Cube Space. So, this is for those of you who don't know, Cube Space was a, a cornerstone of the Portland uh, tech community, and they've closed their doors. And this is Rabbi David, one of the founders of Cube Space. So, we actually haven't been around um, OS Bridge much yet. In fact, I walked in for the first time about 4:15 because. <laughs> We've been packing up Cube Space the last two days, and I am deeply relieved to be done packing up and organizing the move. Out the last the box is packed up. Everything is sealed. Is, it's all it's all out, out and everything we're moving out is now in our living room. Oh, yeah. There's nothing <laughs> in the living room left. Um, but we had lots of help, which was great. I mean, lots of people in the community. Mm -hmm chipped in for an afternoon for several afternoons, really made it possible for us to do it. It was a lot of work this week, but we did it, and it was, we got all the heavy stuff and furniture in and both back into Cube Space and out of Cube Space before the state condemned the elevator, and we were grateful for Ooh. that. Um, yeah, because those stairs are not fun to carry things on. No, but <laughs> so we were just doing boxes up and down the stairs, yeah. which was mainly okay. Um, but at the moment, I'm feeling really relieved um, to be packed up and yeah. out of cube space. We have the final inspection tomorrow morning when we turn over the keys and stuff, and that will be emotional. But there's also a big sense of relief of just... It's been almost a month since we found out things weren't going quite as well as we thought they were in terms yeah. of um, relationship with the bank. And we have it all settled. We have had to shut down. That wasn't the way we wanted it to go. And we'll see what happens in the future. But that's the end of that part of it. Yes. And it says next steps. Next steps. Well, in the short term, I'm looking for consulting work. Mm -hmm. You can hire a Rabbi David. Hire um, Rabbi David. Go to <laughs> Rabbi David at Twitter. Not Rabbit Avid, please. You know, if you want me a phone with the mouth, <laughs> I can be Rabbit Avid for you. I'm really, really, really flexible. <laughs> He's a versatile guy. I'm a versatile guy, and yeah. um, I do management consulting. Mm -hmm. I do market research consulting. Mm -hmm. I help people solve problems. Um, I'm really good at reframing problems for companies, for people, for projects in ways that I can ask them the questions they need to be able to answer before they can move on yeah. and put those in order in the right way so that by the time we're done, there's a series of next steps um, and the company or person can move forward. Um, I'm, Eva says this is exactly what I do for pastoral counseling, which is sort of true. But it's not a traditional mode of pastoral counseling either. So, um, really? 
It seems like that would be a very effective way to go about problem solving in any arena. It is. Yeah. Um, but just it is a very effective way to do it. It's simply not necessarily traditional pastoral counseling, which is much more about listening and saying, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. And how did your mother make you feel? <laughs> oh, no, that's um, Freudian yeah, analysis. Yeah, no. But it's not that dissimilar. <laughs> I'm sorry. And how did God make you feel? Um, it's a pastoral counseling classic. But and my tendency tends to be, and what were you hoping your life would look like now? And yeah. what does it look like? And what's the difference? And how are we going to move you from there to there? It's about um, dealing with reality. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and dealing with it in a spiritual way for me, yeah. but um, I do the same thing with companies and say, so what product were you hoping you'd have launched by now? And what are the barriers to having that product launched? How are we going to overcome those barriers? Um, so you're going to go, you're going to take a little bit of time off, you're going to take a, a breather. Your last guest, um, Stephanie Wagner, has Is a little angel. A little angel has offered Eva and I use of her home um, in Bend, and we are heading off there tomorrow afternoon, immediately after OS Bridge, for about five days of nothing that resembles work. Eva has packed a box about this large, filled with yarn and knitting needles <laughs> and a couple of knitting books. Um, we are bringing DVDs and computers that probably won't be used for internet at all, but simply for watching movies on mm -hmm. um, and we're going to walk in the woods kick back and get away for the longest time Eva and I have gotten away together since we opened Cube Space three years ago thank you um, I'm hoping you're all applauding for the fact that we're getting away rather than yes. like the last three years, which really wasn't the way they were supposed to go. No, we were applauding for you guys Thanks. getting a chance to get away and spend some time together. Thank you. We're very appreciative and very excited about that. But you're going to be here for a little bit of OS Bridge tomorrow? I will, we will be here for a little bit of OS Bridge tomorrow. What I'm are you really guys excited. looking forward to? Um, as I... Okay, it's been a crazy week. Yes. But... At some point when I would think I was sweating um, dreadfully after lugging boxes <laughs> and needed to sit down for a moment or two, I was looking at the schedule and I think there was a meditation session tonight, mm. which I'm very much looking forward to. Um, and I'm really curious to see what the um, unconference sessions for tomorrow will be. I think there'll be, I mean, I'm not a serious programmer. Yeah. Actually, I'm not a comic programmer either. <laughs> I just, I, my programming really shouldn't happen. Um, <laughs> Okay, so knitting, yes. Knitting, yes. Programming, Programming no. less so. But I look over people's shoulders sometimes and ask stupid questions, and that's fun. Yeah. Um, so it's less the hardcore programming stuff I'm looking forward to than the general open source culture mm -hmm. and how we take open source and apply it to things other than programming. Because one of the things we did right with CubeSpace was it was an open source business. Yeah. We were really um, transparent in terms of all of our um, forms, all of um, the stuff we did, and did turn fo loose all our forms on the unsuspecting co-working world <laughs> for them to use as a library however they wanted. So I'm really excited by open source as a model, good. if not specifically the software piece, except there in a used way. I think that there has been a, a good amount of open source community going on in the last two days, even if it wasn't at the talks. Between the talks, uh, Selena even included a, a bit in her keynote, which was a uh, howdy neighbor. It was. It was. I actually thought very much of it, the church model when you're when you're uh, uh, in worship and you stop and turn around and say hello to everyone who's around you. It very much reminded me of that, and I I actually really appreciated that particular. That's moment. wonderful. So, yeah. Um, well, I think we are going to get ready to wrap up pretty soon. We have a couple more people uh, on dock waiting to go, but I'm so glad that you made it in. I think I saw you thank as you. you came in, and it was really good yes. to see you. And I'm glad that you joined us. And thank My you so pleasure. much. My pleasure. Thank you so much, Cammy. And I look forward to being able to watch Strange Love Live more often now since oh my I gosh. won't have to cla crash it <laughs> 7.30 at night on a Friday anymore. I look forward to not crashing at 7.30. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to not crashing at 7.30 at night, but I don't know that was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, well. All right. Thank you, David. Thank you, Cammie.